What is up, everybody? No, your uh, display is not down, it's just black. Back to the uh, second part of the Raspberry Pi tutorial series here. What we're going to be doing is talking about how to download um, an operating system onto your Raspberry Pi so you can begin actually using your Raspberry Pi. There are a lot of options for uh, an operating system, but for now, we're just going um, to start with the most basic and easy way to do this. So the best thing that you can do now, um, I've, I'm sure there's somebody out there that's had a video on this, but if you've visited the Raspberry Pi website uh, anytime recently, uh, you'll see they actually have this noobs uh, thing, which I've never heard before. I think that's the cutest thing in the world, new out of box software for noobs. Anyway, I think it's a great name. So anyway, you can download this um, from the Raspberry Pi slash downloads. And what this is going to be is it's going to solve any sort of, like, instead of having to, like, put the image on the disk and all this kind of stuff, it's going to do that for you. So you can just download this, and then on your first startup, um, you'll be presented with a list of operating systems for you to choose from, um, and then it'll install the operating systems um, and like you know, with the image and all that itself, so it's actually really cool. And the other cool thing you can do is just by holding shift, you can change the operating system. Now it's going to delete everything on your old operating system, but you can kind of switch between them and see which one you like without really doing anything. So it's awesome. Um, you you're going to need you know to do it this way. You'll need at least a four gigabyte or larger SD card. In this case, I've got an eight, and. Um, Really, that's about it. So let's go ahead and, and uh, download this. You can use this stuff. Honestly, I'm just going <laughs> to put this out there. Someone can probably ridicule me. But uh, you can use this to check some and make sure your download is like a worthy download. But if it's not and like something has gone awry, uh, you'll find out anyways. So why waste time doing this? I don't know. It's pretty quick. I mean, you, you put this on the, on the card. I mean, it doesn't take very long to transfer it. And if stuff doesn't work then try it again because that's what happens if the checksum fails you have to re-download it so I, I don't know anyway so we visited here and uh, now the noobs thing is downloading it's 1.1 gigabytes so it's gonna take a while I have basically no bandwidth because I run like two servers so um, yeah it's probably gonna take a while so anyway let me pause this and uh, we'll resume once it's done downloading Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, while you are while you are downloading it, the next thing that you want to do is download... Where is it? I thought they would write it up on here, but I don't see it. We want to download the um, SD card formatter. Hey, here we go. Here's a link for it. So when you're in the slash downloads, uh, we, the next thing we want to do is format the SD card. So we'll click on that. It's going to take us to this the downloads for this SD formatter. And I don't know too much about SD cards, but what it's going to do is, is format it I don't know, in the proper format for running a, a, an operating system off of it. Someone else can say exactly how this works or why you have to use this, but anyway, you do. So, you know, whatever computer you're on right now, uh, download the proper version, and once you've done that, I'll show you what you'll arrive with. Okay, so when you run the program, this will be uh, what you've got. You'll have, you know, some information up here. This will be about your card, what drive it's in volume label. The only thing you really need to do at this point before you hit format is go into your options and for format size adjustment go ahead and turn that on. Hit OK and hit format. And hit OK. Of course we're not going to remove it while we're formatting it. <laughs> okay. So anyway now it, the format is complete. Uh, gives you some information and we'll go ahead and exit so now the next thing, uh, once you've downloaded the Noobs software and you are, um, or you've already formatted your SD card, the next thing we want to do is actually go into our SD card. And so here is my SD card. I just brought it up another window, and uh, you just want to click and drag basically this stuff right on in there. And it's obviously going to take a little bit because it's 1.1 gigs. So let me go ahead and pause while it's doing that. And actually, I just thought about a couple of things I'll mention. Once we get this done, I'm actually probably going to have to come off the screen recorder and go back to the handheld because the rest of the stuff will be 
on the Raspberry Pi as we're installing it. So I guess we'll do the rest by camera. But I would just mention this is the first time like I've ever encountered something like this, honestly. But the little SD card has a, like a slider on the side that locks it from having data like overwritten. And a lot of the inserts, at least on my computer when I was doing this, it kept telling me it was locked. And I would unlock it, slip it in, it'd be like, oh, it's locked again. And it turned out that every time I was pushing it in, the slider on the side was locking, right? Because it needs to go down to lock. And that's what it, something was rubbing up against it and locking it. So that was really irritating. So if you have that problem, what you can do is just take a piece of scotch tape and like unlock it and just put the tape over the lock. So it'll make the fit a little tighter than normal. Um, but that'll stop it from getting locked. Just thought I'd say that. I never had the problem. Maybe no one else will have this issue. But uh, that was really irritating. So that's that. All right, guys. Looks like this is about to be over, so once you're done with the transfer, you'll go ahead and pull out the SD card, and everything for our film uh, coming up next is going to have to be live again, because uh, we'll be dealing with the physical pie. Um, so anyway, as always, thank you for watching, thank you for your support, your subscriptions, and until next time.